this film was done in a couple years after I got out of NYU film school. It was really an extension of film school in some ways because many of the key people that I worked with had been my classmates at film school. And I haven't watched it in about 15 years, so I'm very curious to see how it holds up. I think, uh, you know, the sound is going to be kind of funky, but um, I think it might be an interesting portrait of, of New York at a very special time, you know, New, New York in the very early 80s, especially downtown New York. So as a kind of, um, I'm, I'm hoping the story holds up, but also just as a kind of sociological look at that particular time in New York, um, I, I'm curious to see what it tells me. Anyway, thank you all for coming, and I'll be here afterwards to answer questions. Thanks. I haven't yeah. seen it in a while, and I guess I was surprised that, because it's, it's so much about those characters and that kind of a girl, and I guess that kind of girl uh, is it, not universal, but she, she has her place in various time periods, and, and um, so even if... <laughs> The, you know, even if the, 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 the environment is a little different, it was, it was kind of interesting to see that character. Very much so. And, and the character, the relationships, even the styles, the hairstyles, the, it was all... And I, I realized, because I haven't seen the film since, mm -hmm. since it came out, I realized that this film, your film, set the tone for many to follow. And I never made that connection until now. Yeah, many. And I, I can't rattle them off, but I, I, I'm just absolutely astonished. Well, it, it was many. interesting because it was made in a very um, certain special period of time in New York. It really was a very um, exciting time to be in, you know, in New York because it was such a convergence of people in the music world, in the art world, in the film world, and everyone, you know, you were, you were able to do things with very, very little money and to use the lack of money as part of the style of the film. And it, and it worked. It, it worked absolutely brilliantly. The, um, uh, if you were to, no, I don't even think I can go there. I was about to say if you were to do it again now, but you can't. Do that. Yeah. Go back. I, I, I think one uh, of the things I did try to do though was that, um, again, coming out of film school I, and knowing that I had such a limited amount of money, rather than try to do a story that needed more money to be told, was right. to try to use the um, the kind of grittiness yeah. of of the budget of everything we had available to to kind of add to the style. I do want to thank somebody because watching it again. Uh, it was really interesting to see the production design, and the production designer is here tonight, if he's still here. So I'm going to thank you. John Now, Susan, most or many first feature films are autobiographical. In this case, I don't think <laughs> that is so. Can you tell me something about the inspiration for the story? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's not autobiographical, but there is something about, you know, um, I, I grew up in Philadelphia, and there is something, and, and came to New York to kind of be a part of something that I was, felt I was missing in Philadelphia. So, in a way, her, all these references to, to being in New Jersey, was and being an outsider and wanting to be an insider was that that was the part of it that that I related to and that you know th that feeling was what I, I tried to bring to that character although the things she does are different than things I might have done but but just sort of coming from someplace else and, and finding yourself in New York at a very special time when there was all this stuff going on um, that was the inspiration of the. Of well, the it's a wonderful inspiration, and it was, a, and a, and it's a wonderful way that you used that and twisted it and turned it into something else, so that it was not Susan Seidelman's right. story, uh, which we're also used to seeing. I'd like to um, open it up to questions and answers. Questions, answers. 
<laughs> Questions out there? What happened to the actress that played Brennan? She's awesome. Yeah, um, her, her name is Susan Berman, and um, you know, I don't know, she did some theater stuff. She, she actually uh, is married to a, a pretty well-known theater director named Des Makinoff, uh, who's also done some movies, and they've worked together a little bit at the La Jolla Theater. But for whatever reasons, you know, I, I, I worked with her, I did a, a movie years ago called Making Mr. Right, and she had a, a small part in that, but um, I, I don't think she's done any other films. Yeah, speaking of her, the way she walked was so striking, it was uh -huh. part of everything in the film. Now, did you like direct her to walk like that, or what? I, I think it was all part of this little, you know, she's just this feisty little bulldog, you know, this little, you know, mutt that you keep, you know, kicking yeah. away and just, you know, um, so I think that that kind of tenacious, you know, even though she's quite thin and, and, and kind of gawky in her <laughs> manner. Um, what is the swagger? It's the swagger. It's the swagger, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just part of the attitude. I think the walk came out of the attitude. Yes. I have two more questions. One, speaking of Ren, who's A, was she based on how much she did write about a school work that you knew, and the other part was how much you get in that big part of it? Can I ask, is Richard Hell here? Oh, okay, because I, uh, he was going to come, but I guess he chickened out. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's a weird story how the film came about because uh, originally, there was another actor that was cast in the role of the, the Richard Hell character. And um, we had started filming, and we started filming for about 10 days. And um, we were rehearsing for a scene, and it, it was a scene where the Richard Hell, it, it didn't end up in the, in the film, but the, that character, the Eric character, uh, finds Ren in his apartment and puts her out, throws her out the window, or places her out the window. Uh, and closes the door onto a fire escape, and she runs to get into another open window. Anyway, we were about to, we were rehearsing and about to film, and uh, the actor put her out, she ran, and there was a hole in the fire escape, um, and she just sort of fell through this hole. Thank, I mean, it, it was kind of weird for me being inside the building, watching her run along and then just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, luckily she fell onto the fire escape one floor below, but it was in a big loft building with, you know, like 16 foot ceilings. And anyway, she broke her leg. And what happened is we had to stop filming. So we had filmed for about, I don't know, if it was nine days or so. Um, stopped while she, um, she was a cast. And uh, what was interesting about that for me as a, as a first time director was that I used that time, because I also edited it. I used that time to kind of edit stuff and see what was working and see what wasn't working. And at that time also, I was able to work, working with Ron Neiswanner, readjust the script to, to kind of, you know, use the strengths that I could see on the film. And uh, in that process, we also decided to, to recast the actor was playing Eric, and it was at that time that we uh, that Richard Hell came on board. Um, but it, the, the film was actually shot over a period of I think we we'd started it in the spring. Susan broke her leg. I was very nervous because I had no money, and you know no one was really getting paid anything. So I was really afraid. Like in many independent films, you get a group together, you kind of beg, steal, and borrow. And then uh, you know it falls apart, and everyone goes their separate ways. Um, but I was tried really hard to keep this group together, so we ended up filming another two weeks. The interior of Eric's apartment, all that stuff, was done in the winter. But I then had to wait another four months or so until the weather got better to be able to continue filming outside to connect it to the stuff we had already filmed. So it was really shot over a period of uh, almost a year in, in, in bits and pieces. Brilliant, <laughs> amazing. Um, I, can, I can see scenes where um, the, the continuity doesn't match, but um, 